Hey YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your girl and I am back with another video today, guys. I am back with a apartment tour! I literally, this is so long overdue. Like, there's no explaining myself right now. This is so long overdue. I am so sorry. The fact of the matter is that y'all got one regardless, so you can't really complain, can you? Okay, maybe you can because it's long overdue, but, but we're just going to get straight into the video. So before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get a notification when I post, and we can get straight into the video. Walk in, and this is what she's looking like, y'all. Yes. Ceiling's tall as fuck, my favorite part. Right away, y'all, so sorry for the mess, but I have a little closet here. I got some games, all of my shoes, and... A ton of miscellaneous stuff. My your business. Thank you. Here, these are all of my, I would say like my to-go purses. Like if I'm going anywhere nine times out of 10, I'm taking any one of these purses. Wow, my kitchen. One thing I love about my kitchen is this huge island. Absolutely love it. Literally don't complain about it. And I got that big mirror. Hey y'all, how you doing? Okay, so let's get into all of these canvases that I spray painted myself. Did not hang them up myself, had help. Thank you very much for it. But this is my living room. I've had that chair for so long. Shout out to Brie for the pink tie blanket because it really does. I feel like it ties my whole living room in like the little pink tie throw blanket. Love it. So I have this, I don't know what you would call it. I love her. She holds all the rest of my purses. Now those are more so fashionable purses. Then of course we have my ring light. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't really come and sit in the living room too much. So when I do, it's usually when I'm beading. So there's all my beads and stuff, my laptop for work. We got my Hello Kitty. We got my little, my cute little crab that my brother won for me, you know, cancer baby shit. And then I got my other throw blankets, some more of my beading stuff right here. Here is my TV stand, and it is also a bookshelf, tons of books. I also keep my crafts right there. This is where I keep like all of my electronic stuff. So I have my charges in here. Usually keep my MacBook in here if I am not using it. Camera. This is the kitchen area from the living room. Very open, very spacious. And we cannot forget to get into my rainbow thrifted baseball. Like, I thrifted every single one of these vases over a course of like two months and have them all lined up in rainbow form. I love it. Literally my favorite part about my apartment. I feel like it just absolutely like brightens the entire place up. Then we have all of me and my friends on my refrigerator. Oh, y'all didn't see a fucking thing. All me and my friends, how cute are we? Living room and kitchen area. We'll go down this little hallway area right here. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> and then we have my own washer and dryer inside. This was like a complete come up. Like I feel like I came up so hard because like my first ever apartment by myself, I had like a community washer and dryer. Bad fucking news. Then when I moved into my other apartment, I had my own. I had my own washer and dryer, but it was outside on my patio. Bad fucking news again. Like bad news in Arizona. Yeah, I just know that it was some crazy shit in there. You look and it's the hallway right into my room. So this is technically considered a one bedroom even though there is no doors. But I don't mind that there's no doors. But we're not gonna go, actually let me not walk into my room yet. Let me go right into the bathroom right here. So I do love the bathroom area. It is so aesthetic for like recording and stuff and I've never been a bath bitch. So I love a standing shower. So I love my shower. You know, I got my eucalyptus, hafta, hafta. And then this is just my little accessory holder. I got my pink hamper. Y'all, you're probably like, Lexi, what's up with all the pink and the cherries? Listen, y'all, listen. 
Your girl operates 24 seven, every single day out of the week, unless she is home by herself in her masculine energy. So if I wanna make my home extra pink, extra feminine, so I can operate and have the mentality of operating in my feminine energy when I'm home, let me do so. Let a girl do what she needs to do. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, then of course we got all of my jewelry and I spray painted it pink and it just kind of holds like all of my bathroom accessories and essentials and my towels, washcloths. We got all of my beaded earrings here, all of my other beaded jewelry here. Yeah, I love this area. It's so cute. It definitely just adds on to the bathroom. And then I got a little place to hang my robe. Wow, you go out here and right off the bat, you guys, we have my vision board. Have to make sure y'all subscribe, yeah. <laughs> and then boom, you walk into my bedroom and this is it, this is her. I got that from downstairs by the trash. Like somebody was throwing it out. So I took it, spray painted it pink, have to. And now it just like, it just fits, just looks good. Just, it does the job for me. Of course, I have another mirror in my bedroom. I love full-size mirrors. I just love looking at myself. And this is a green screen. It's got green back there. I don't know if y'all can see it. I also found that in the trash downstairs. Girl moved to a nice ass neighborhood. I never lived in a neighborhood like this before in my life. And then we have my bed. Like this right here is truly, truly on everything I love, like my res girl dream room. Like you walk in and it's like pink, pink tribal blanket. And then like you got like some of the stuff that like my dad got me up here, you know, like, I don't know. I just love it. I do have like my outfit ready cause your girl's got a photo shoot in a few hours. I will say I did have to downgrade closet wise. I used to have a walk-in closet and I no longer do. So it was a downgrade, kind of sucks, but I still love it. And I love how you can see my rainbow thrifted vase wall from my bedroom as well. And you go right here and we're right in the living room again. So it like literally just walks all the way around in a circle. I live by myself, so I don't mind that I don't have doors because I don't have to, I don't need to shut my door for any reason. I live by myself, I, I don't mind having doors. Now, if I didn't live alone and I was living with someone, I don't know how I would like not having a door because it's like we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to like separate ourselves like from the living room and the bedroom. That would be the only con living with someone, but thank God I live alone. All right, so you walk out here, you got a nice little view of everyone's apartment. And then we have my, y'all, you just can't look at it because it's so gross. I'm throwing that away. I'm getting a pink one, but it's just not the season to do so. On top of the big papasan, I have a nice table that's super fucking dusty because I haven't dusted it. Mind your business. And then I just have a little mirror because sometimes your girl likes to sit out here. This is my full apartment tour. I finally did it. I finally gave y'all the inside scoop. I finally let y'all see where I live, how I'm living, what it looks like, who I am on the inside, who I am behind closed doors. But that's not all. I am going to take y'all upstairs in my full, like this is my glory. This is the glory that I live for living at this apartment. I love going up here. I love going to the rooftop. I love spending my mornings here. I love spending my nights here. I love spending my days here. I absolutely love this part of my apartment. And this is why I picked this apartment. I literally manifested this plot. So we are gonna go check it out. And this elevator brings you up to the rooftop, the top floor. My absolute favorite and the most amazing view ever. The rooftop pool with a view to the very own Piesto Peak, my absolute favorite mountain to hike on. Absolutely love. We have a little hot tub over there in that middle area, if you can see it. That I believe is Camelback. And then Piesto. 
just the entire mountain view this at night with all of the lights is just absolutely beautiful and then the pool truly amazing and i'm very very so blessed to be able to you know spend my days here and live here we do have a well i don't know what you would call this but it's like a clubhouse area y'all so like you can come up here hang out they host yoga classes up here push everything to the side they got pool they got ping pong they got arcade games that I'm pretty sure don't work, but it's okay. They got whatever the hell you call this. Look at the view of downtown. Yes. And they also have a little movie room area right here where you can like chill and use the TV. My absolute fave, fave, fave part is the fact that if I don't want to go anywhere but I want a snack, I can come up here and it's a vending machine full of snacks. Like beverages, coffee, tea, whatever you need, they got it. I'm not going to point my camera too much in the gym because it's some people in there right now. But the gym is right here and it does have a full entire view of outside. So whenever I do go in there and work out, I love, I love working out in there because the view, it makes me more motivated, I guess. That is all, guys. That is the entire apartment tour I have for y'all here. I hope you guys enjoyed the long overdue video. Thank y'all for being patient. Thank y'all for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time.